All right, here we are. I'm going to introduce 2D arrays. And 2D arrays are just like a regular arrays, but they're in two dimensions, right? And this section is um, about 10%. So roughly 10% of your grade will come from knowledge of this. Now, the good news is you've already done arrays, and you've already got all the ingredients to do what we're going to do here, OK? So this is a short video to explain what it is, and you can just practice uh, using the tools you've got. So let me sh point out what it is. I'll give you an example. I'll do a little bit of coding, and hopefully that gives you a sense of what uh, we're doing with this unit. So a 2D array is basically, I want you to think about this as an array, so it's just like you've done, but it's an array of arrays. So it's a, an array that contains arrays inside. And it's done because sometimes we want to, we want information like a grid, right? So if you imagine like an Excel spreadsheet or something like this, it has an X portion and a Y portion. Well, in this case, you can see here we've got the array values. We have two different uh, square brackets, right? One's for the X and one's for the Y. Or the way we usually say it is like rows and columns. So basically, it's if you look at this one, you can see that this is row zero. This one is the zero. And basically, what's in the position zero? Well, it's an array. The first element of the array, the second element of the array, the third element of the array. Right? It's all there. And so in this sense, we have uh, a way to, to kind of show how uh, we can store uh, two dimensions of settings. Now, this row here, uh, now the x is 1. So the first one is 1 here. This is the first element. This is the second element. This is the third element, right? So in a sense, uh, we're not using anything that we haven't seen before, but it's just another... Uh, thing that we can store inside. So, in a, let's uh, let's go to the the code HS window, and let's take a look at what this looks like. Okay, so here we have our code HS window. I've just got a a basic window here, and I might zoom in a little bit just to allow you to see a bit better. All right, so if you remember from our previous uh, exercises, we can put many things in an array. We usually say something like um, int x, or so I just say r. So int, and then we usually say uh, that r, and then we can make the array be like uh, 2, 5, 6, 7, 9, Three, and that's our array, right? So each value in the array is these numbers, right? So how about I make a, a bunch of these? I'm going to make a bunch. I'll make a few arrays. Uh, four, five, yeah. And I give them all their own name, like uh, two, three, four, five. And let's give them some different values here just to mix it up. Probably should have done something a bit more different, but just so I can point out the differences between them. Okay. Uh, I change them all, but let's just. Uh, Make them a bit different. All right, so I have five arrays of different type. And okay, so let's go ahead and make a two-dimensional array. And then let's call this array. Uh, well, let's call this grid because we've essentially got a, a grid now. 
and I'm going to save uh, array 1, array 2, array 3, array 4, array 5. So I've got an array of arrays here. And now my goal is to try and show you here that I can print out, let's say I want to print out this value here. So where will I find this value, this three? Well, it's, it's in the first row, right? So here, right? So that, that'll be the zero. No, it's not, it's in the, sorry, this three here is in the third array. So it's one, zero, zero, one, two. So it'll be two. So let's say system dot out dot print uh, and grid two. So I'm looking in the second. Uh, so zero one two, and this is zero one two three. So three. All right. So I've basically just said, okay, let's find this uh, grid thing and see if we can print it out. And there we go. So it's printed out in the number three, right? So because that's what I was looking for, right? So now the second component of your knowledge here in terms of how these work is let's say we want to print them all out, like all together. Like so we want to print this whole grid. We need a way to not just go value by value, but we need to kind of, you know, print them out in succession. So let's change this now. We want to print the whole thing out, just like it looks here. And I want to print them. Can I do it by saying just print grid? Well, if I tried that, it probably wouldn't work. It would probably just print the reference to the start of the array, right? This is just a memory address where the start of the array is. It's not going to help me. If I print uh, grid, what if I just print grid zero? Will it print anything there? Mm, no, it's going to print the start of this this array here, right? So it's not really helping. What I need is a for loop. In fact, I don't need just one for loop. I need two. So let's print out these arrays. I'm going to use a for loop to go through this list of arrays. One, zero, so zero, one, two, three, four. And then for each one of these ones, I need to go through each one of their values. So actually I need two for loops. So I'm going to use int i equals zero, i less than grid dot length. And then I need to go through each one of these. And how long is each one of these? Well, they need to be the same length. That's the key here. They should all be the same length. And I'm going to go through them, and I'm going to use int j for this. So int j equals 0. But how do I know how long it is? Well, I need to take the first, let me just take the, an example, the first grid value, right, which is going to be array 1. How do I get to that? Well, I say grid, uh, so j is less than grid zero. So that'll give me the first array, this one here. And let me say dot length. So the length of that array, which just happens to be five as well. All right, so we have, now I've got an I and a J. And what I want to do is print out, uh, use the values to print it. So system dot out dot print. I'm not going to do print ln, I'm just going to do print, and because I want to print all of these values in a row, right? So I'm going to print a the value, which is going to be grid, and then 
the I value, which is going to be the array that I want. And then the column value, so the, the row, this is the row value, this is the column value, the column value would be J. And then let me just plus it with a space because I want to space out the responses, okay? Okay, so it's going to print all of those in, in the row. Now, obviously it's going to do it for the column. After I finish printing that whole row, that's the end of this for loop. Right, so this is the uh, print row. And this is going to be going through. Oh, sorry. Actually, this is print all columns. And this is print rows, right? So th this is essentially, this is going through the rows, this is going through the columns. Uh, depending on how you look at it, it could be vice versa. But uh, after I print all the columns, uh, column zero, column one, column two, I then want to do a new line, right? I want to get the next line. So uh, I'm going to print um, system.out.print ln and just do an empty string there. So it prints a new line. Okay. Let's run it. Let's see if it works. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. All right. So as you see, this is the uh, sort of, this is a standard way to print out uh, a grid. And essentially what we're doing now is just combining another dimension of what we've already learned. So declare them the same way, it's just you use two. Keep your rows and your columns kind of uh, in order. But really, this is, this is what you need to know for this unit. Knowing how to traverse rows and columns. And it's using a nested for loops, like two nested for loops, sorry. So that that will print them out together. Okay, so that's the intro. Uh, I'll go through some of the questions uh, in the CodeHS units after this.